As students prepare to return to school this fall, many families are stocking up on school supplies for the upcoming school year. However, one thing that all students need that may not appear on a supplies list is their childhood vaccines. I spoke to Public Health Director Tammy Riley to learn more. Yeah, childhood vaccines obviously is very important to public health and it's important to families and you know there's a few reasons why it's so important. Uh, we want to keep our families you know healthy and happy. Uh, it's the law for certain ages in the public school systems and we want to do the very best that we can for our children and protect them. So it's that time of the year where it's back to school you know the August is approaching it's immunization awareness month. So there's a, a variety of good reasons to be talking about childhood vaccines. The Pike County Health Department invites you to come see them for your back to school and sports physicals, as well as vaccines. We are the vaccine experts. So for your back to school physicals, sports physicals, or vaccines, visit the Pike County Health Department today. In addition to those just beginning school, there are additional vaccines needed for teens, including the HPV and meningococcal vaccine. Childhood vaccines are, are important, obviously. Uh, most of them have been around for decades and have been proven to eradicate and uh, lessen the severity of, of many diseases. Um, of course, you know, you want those pre-K, kindergarten, those uh, five-year-olds, six-year-olds who are starting school for the first time to look at, you know, their vaccines, whether it's DTaP, varicella, MMR, polio, um, but they're widely available. We, you know, as public health officials, we just want to see children get their vaccines and get caught up on their vaccine schedule, uh, whether it's through their pediatrician, the local health department. And there's many back to school bashes and special clinics, including the one at the Pike County Health Department available at this time of the year. For more information, go to Pike County Health Department on Facebook. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.